Hey ladies, so today's video is going to be on products that I have been going like crazy over. Just, I've been loving so, so much. And um, I think I got like a nice little mixture from like nail polish to like makeup to like hair stuff. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy and if you want to see what products I've been loving. Okay, so the first product that I would have to be like have to say I've been loving are nail polishes and they are the Icene's, um nail polishes. I got these polishes such a long time ago but I never wore them and I actually just started wearing them and I've fallen deeply and madly in love. This has got to be my favorite out of all of them. It is called True Blue. And if you don't know what icing is, it is just basically like um, a Claire's. It's the same thing as a Claire's, but icings, I feel like icings is more mature than Claire's, where icings is more for like teenagers. And you can find that like at any mall. And then the second one is Sandy Beach, which I also love. It's a beautiful neutral color, and I love using this one for fall. Like hands down, one of my favorites. And then this matte color which is actually a really cool polish it dries matte and I actually like wearing it matte it's really cool and it's called gargoyle and that's just how it looks and then the next one would have to be another one of my favorites it's like a minty kind of green it's kind of a dupe for all those mint polishes that had been coming out at that time and this is called casino yeah casino green Uh-oh, I don't think that one focused. Casino Green. And then the last one is the one that I have on my nails right now. And it just looks like that. It's kind of like a doo-doo brown, but <laughs> it's like a pretty doo-doo brown. I actually really, really like this one because I feel like it's just one of the most perfect colors to fall. And it looks really pretty. And it's called Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Or Bordeaux. But I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Bordeaux. And yeah, so that was my first for nail polishes. My second favorites would have to be my EOS lip balms. These things are so freaking moisturizing. Like, I love them so much. Um, I have the one in Summer Fruit and Something Something Melon. I don't even know. The, yeah, Something Something Melon. I don't know. Um, Summer Fruit is a really good one. It kind of smells like, um, it reminds me of strawberries or something like that. Or like strawberry tangerine kind of mix. And then the melon one it smells like melons. <laughs> um, my sister actually hates the summer fruit one. I prefer the summer fruit one over the melon one. And as you can see, mine are pretty dirty because I put them in my purse with all my pencils and stuff and it gets dirty. So yeah. Um, my next favorites, what favorites? My next favorite item that I love so much would have to be my lipstick by, I'm pretty sure this is Rimmel, right? I'm thinking it's Rimmel. By Rimmel London. Um, actually, let me check. So my next favorite product would have to be this lipstick by Rimmel. And um, it is called Airy Fairy. Hands down, one of my favorite lipsticks ever. Like, I've been using this lipstick like crazy with lip gloss, wearing it alone. It's just beautiful. And it looks like this. The down part of this is I didn't get too much product with this lip gloss, lipstick. It wasn't, um, I didn't get too much of the lipstick. It wasn't that long. It was like pretty short. But hands down one of my favorites. It is such a beautiful color. And I actually have it on my lips right now. If you can see it. And then don't look at my zit. <laughs> but yeah, I have it on my lips. It is kind of like a pinky nude is what I would describe it as. Um, and it has gold shimmers in it, and it's just like one of my favorite lipsticks to wear, and it's actually very perfect for the holidays because of the golden undertones, so I really like it. My next favorite would have to be um, my powder. I've been using like crazy. Um, it's the MAC Select Sheer Loose Powder in NW45. This stuff is so amazing. I didn't really like their foundation. Um, I have one of their foundations from st the studio or something. Um, but this powder, I love it. Especially when I'm breaking out. And I'll put on like a little bit of concealer. and um, I'll use this powder and it just covers everything up. And it lasts all day long. Like I really love this powder so much. And I really recommend it. 
My next favorite would have to be this NYX eyeshadow base. And it's the one with like the pearl in it. Like I always say. Um, this base is just like absolutely incredible. I love it so much. And it looks like this. I just love this stuff. It's so pretty and glittery. It's different from the white one because it has all those glitters and stuff in it. I love it so much. I even use it like just to put it on my inner corners of my eyes to give me like a pretty little shine. It's beautiful. I my next favorite would have to be this bronzer by um, CoverGirl. Like the CoverGirl Queen Collection or what is it? Um... The Natural Hue Minerals Bronzer by <sighs> CoverGirl. <laughs> that was like um, a twister. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Like, you will love this. Like, you know bronzer for black girls, how hard it is to find for, like, African-American women? It's really, 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 really hard to find. And this, like, at the CoverGirl Queen Collection... The, their bronzers, they have, like, a whole line for girls. Even, like, they have one even darker than this one. And this is, um... One of the darkest ones they have, and it's called, it's in Ebony Bronze. So, hold on. So, yeah, it's in Ebony Bronze. I love it so much. It's really pretty. It's like a dark brown, and it has, like, um, golden shimmers. And I hope you can see it, because it really just contours my face so well. It's so beautiful. <laughs> okay. My next favorite is from Victoria's Secret. It's the lip glosses. And as you can see, I love this lip gloss so much. I've used so much of it. It is called Coco. The tag, like, all got off. I don't remember what it's called. It's called Coco something. It's the brown one. And it is gorgeous. Like, I love it so much. I love wearing it alone because it, it has, like, a gold hint to it without being brown, if you understand that. It's like gold without being brown, and it's so beautiful, and it smells really good, too. I think it's called Coco Moco or something like that, but I love it so much. Now, um, my next favorite would have to be from e.l.f. Again, like I said, I've been in love with the studio line, and I have to show it to you guys because I love it. I have a couple more brushes, but these have to be my go-to brushes every day, my favorite brushes to use. This is the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, and they're a little dirty, guys. Sorry. I didn't feel like cleaning them for the video. And it's just like this. The, the bristles are so amazing on these brushes. They're so soft. Like, you won't even believe how soft they are because they are so cheap. They, like, run for, like, $3, $5, right? And they're so soft. And so dense, like the hairs are so dense. So when I pack eyeshadow on, it just, it's a dream with this brush. And then this brush, hands down, has to be my favorite, most versatile, most everything brush. I literally use this brush for like everything at one point. Um, first, I started off using it for foundation. And then I stopped using it for foundation and I started using it for powder. Oh, let me show it to you. It's the e.l.f. Starting over. The next brush is the e.l.f. powder brush, the flat top one, and I just love it so much. It looks like that, and it's dirty. Um, but yeah, I've literally, this brush has got to be one of the most versatile brushes on their website. I first started off using this brush for um, foundation, and I would stipple it in and then buff it out. And then I started using it for um, powder because it really buffed in my powder really well, and it is the powder brush. And now I'm stuck on using this brush for bronzer. I just like load up half, like half of the side and I'll go in and really chisel in and then I'll buff it out with the other side. And hands down, my favorite brushes of all time. It's amazing. Um, my last favorite would have to be my best friend right now, my Remington curling wand. Like, when I bought this, I didn't curl my hair with this today. I curled my hair with my flat iron. Um, this, oh, I love you so much. It is just, I feel like it is so cute. And then at the same time, it, it gets, it just curls my hair so beautifully. 
But that's it for all my favorites. I hope this video is not too long because I really cannot remember how long I've been talking. But um, thank you guys so much. I'm sorry that I hadn't made a video that whole, like the whole of last week. My teachers decided to dump like 10 pounds of homework on us um, because it's like coming up to the break. And then Tuesday is my birthday, so I'm so, so, so excited. Um, I'm gonna be 16 and you guys go ahead and leave in the comments below whether or not you want me to do like um, a birthday vlog or like a follow me around or a birthday haul. A birthday haul or like a follow me around vlog or anything related. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye, love you.